what we're doing is we're using high concentrations of the sex pheromone to disrupt the communication between male moths and female moths. And what we've done now is to combine four different blends into a single dispenser for orchardists to put out to control all four species. Growers are using 10 to 15 sprays a year of insecticides, some of which were highly toxic, would leave residues on the crop at harvest and limit where we could actually send our apples. Global demand now is for low or no residue fruit that can go into every market in the world. Three New Zealand leaf roller plus coddling moth put together in a sex pheromone product, we came up with a trademark for play. Been very well received uh, in the industry and doing a great job. Well I think the thing that's very exciting is that we're, in a way, we're controlling the insects without any broadcast insecticides at all. We're stopping them from talking to each other. We're getting residue free fruit and we're also able to get access to Taiwan and some of the other key factor uh, markets which pay very high prices for the apples from New Zealand. So we have the best apples in the world, they're residue free and they can get into the best markets. Collaborating with Plant and Food and eTech has been very successful and something of a meeting of the minds and they have very good science. We have people on the ground and the commercial and the marketing support working together as, as a cohesive team has been really productive. Working in an area such as this green chemistry where we're controlling insects without the side effects that other control tactics tend to have, it's a very satisfying thing personally because it's helping to green New Zealand even further. So it's a chance to put something back.